Hello classmates, my name is Miranda Rink. I'm very ill, so this will not be my best vlog, but I hope that it makes sense at very least. This week we're doing a close reading of Jan Morrison's conundrum, finding a sentence or word and tracking it, um, or a concept, tracking it through the text and interpreting what that would mean um, for her, um, what that means for society, blah blah blah. I'm tracking a sentence, that sentence being, the more I was treated as a woman, the more woman I became. Flip with me, if you will, to page 149 of our book. We enter a paragraph where she is describing that as she was leaning more into her identity as a woman and as the world began to treat her as such, the adjectives she uses to describe her treatment shift. Um, her idea of herself and her identity shifts. She feels herself changing at her core based on how people are treating her. Words that she describes herself with are incompetent, incapable, inferior, She's described as not being strong enough to open bottles or reverse cars, but in that she finds a home. She finds a home in being a woman and having a camp. That that gives her peace, that gives her joy, that it is a good thing that she is adapting to this camp. I discovered that even now, men prefer women to be less informed, less able, less talkative, and certainly less self-centered than they are themselves, so I generally oblige them. Okay, so here, this idea of womanhood is synonymous with being less, synonymous with being less valid, less smart, less strong, less capable or intelligent, that there's an inherent inferiority in being female. And as she's pressing into that role, um, she's leaning into those like negative connotations as well. She's willing to like place her male privilege on the line like, in order to adhere to this camp, this it plays into that idea of community that we're talking about. She so craved it. She so craved that that sense of belonging, which up until the book at this point, she's very, like, it's very lacking, that she doesn't mind even being able to identify and describe herself as these things. The world has changed a lot from that point, um, but still there is this idea of woman being a synonym for less. We are placing ourselves in those camps of inferiority through systematic language that we're using. This paragraph, this sentence, this the more I was treated as a woman, the more woman I became. Okay, you're looking at this part of the sentence. The more I was treated as a woman, woman being one who is feminine, the more woman I became. And here, this woman is a synonym with less. So the more I was treated as a female, the less I became. What does that mean for our world, what does that mean for her? What is, um, how do we undo that? What is um, the root cause behind it? When did it start? What is the result? Where are we going with this? What, what is the result of 50% of the population believing that they are inferior or being treated as they are inferior? This means that our women are growing up and being taught that they are less. Over half of our world is growing up identifying with a concept being a woman that they later learn is to not, like, it means that they are less. What is that going to do to our world? What is that doing to our world now? This feeds into the brokenness of our culture, this idea where women are objectified and victimized and treated by men as less and by other women as less and abiding in that treatment because they too believe that they are less. This is a lesson that runs deep and this is a lesson that infiltrates action. This is inherent worth that we're talking about. Looking at Jane's stance on it, when she says this, she describes this concept as good because it's better to identify with a community of inferior people than to be isolated by yourself, like without that community in the gray middle ground between male and female. And reading this story, I, I agree, like in that spot, I agree with her. She is lonely. She has been wandering for a long time, for her entire life. Um, in this gray camp, this gray area. It makes sense that she would want to rest in an identity and rest in a role. This isn't a sacrifice of dignity for her. This is a acceptance of home. Yes, she, with her own voice, describes that as inferior, but that's not what is most important to her. This aspect of community and home and belonging overrules that. This just opens the question of what does it mean to be woman and what does it mean to be a woman of worth? Does our worth abide in our treatment? Does our worth abide in our inherent self? We can identify as male. That is valid and real. But if you're born a man and identify as female, or if you're born a woman and identify as female, does that make you less? Thank you.